Watch the keel guard, watch the keel guard. Watch it. What's happening folks? Back with another Texas Epi. I'm with two legends today, Spencer and my boy Bryce. This guy right here is one of the first dudes I think I've ever really fished with down here in Texas before, the Guggen House before I moved down here. I think the first time I fished with you, I caught my biggest bass ever at the time, which is like an eight, 16 or something like that. So we've linked back up, gonna do some fishing out here. Got the slow, got the rods, ready to rip. Catch you guys in the spot. There he is. <laughs> was that a blue kill? Yeah. <laughs> first cast, first bite of the day. That was all right. Well, oh, there's a bite. On. There we go. Oh, yeah. Lucky, look, it's nice little Texas LMB on. Air temp right now is like 60 degrees. Like two days ago, it was like in the 30s and the 40s, and we finally have had some warm weather. So I'm feeling pretty optimistic about today's bite. I'm gonna start off with some finesse tactics and then might switch over to like throwing a jig or some moving baits. But yeah, this first fish on the Slim Shake. Guggen bait, Slim Shake. Damn, she cranked it. Hooey. Oh, good one. Good one. With the nut? No way, dude, you're kidding. No way, bro. Y'all enjoy it? I'm gonna drink some beers, bro. It's time to drink one. Unbelievable. Dude, you swallowed the jig, too. Look at how fing fat that thing is. Yeah, Bryce is like, I got a spot where you can catch a bunch of ones and twos. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a one or two, bud. Oh I saved a good one. Dude, yeah, do we got a scale. Let's check yeah. it out. Hey, nice job. That was so dope. This is crazy, man. We haven't been here for more than like 10 minutes. Bryce just yanks a true Texas beast we work with here, dog. Zeroed out. Hell yeah. That's a good Let's beginning. Go. Gorgeous fish. Let's go. <laughs> Good there, dog. Yeah. Like I said, Bryce is a bit of a, a bit of a Texas hammer. Quite literally, he put the hammer of that fish right up under that tree, as deep as you could possibly imagine. Sets the hook. I saw like a little flash, and then there's this giant boil. What a way to start the day. By the way, we didn't really set the scene for you guys, but yesterday we had a tough grind. We were on a, a striper mission. It didn't pan out. Then we tried to go for bass. Was not a good weather day, not a good fishing day. So it feels really good to get a fish like that in the beginning of the morning. Epic. On the jig, let's go. I'm all about that jig life. Another one? Good one. Oh my God, bro, it's a good one. <laughs> yeah, it's like a three pounder. Bryce is in the back of the boat. He's on his second fish. It's a good one. Okay, that's a sign. I'm gonna switch the jig now. Started off with an eco. We're gonna, we're, we're, we're gonna make some adjustments here. Thanks to Bryce. <laughs> Unreal. That is a good fish. After watching Bryce's recent success on the jig, I'm gonna try a little bandito bug on the back of a grass jig, three eighths ounce. Get it up in some of these little stick ups, these lay downs. There's a lot of brush back here, like a ton. Got good vibes. Check it. There we go, that's looking minty. There he is. Little guy. Jig bass. Working my way up in the world here. Jig with the bandito bug, cranked them. Not bigger than the first one, so I'm content. Is that shad or a fish, Boston? Shad. Wow, that's a big shad. What you eating? Jigs, apparently, and almost my hand. 10 out of 10 on that release here. Yeah, that was a good one. Smacked it. Watch your rod get blown. Yeah. She went off there. Yes! <sighs> Fatty. Right now we're on a flipping program. We've got a ton of reeds that you guys can see behind us right now. And uh, they're loaded with some pretty good fish. Check that out, man. Fat fish back here. You can tell they're feeding. Most likely on shad. Off to the right, we're seeing 
shad flicker and jump, and that's probably what these guys are loaded with, but they're also in this brush. Good spot for these fish to hide this time of year. Nice. Boom. Spence, what's the pattern right now? What are we doing? Fishing Good. outflow with drop shots. Just a pump, slow pump. Oh, <laughs> hooked up. Big hook up. Oh, I just got tapped. Double up. We're double, doubled. Double. Yep. Yes. Yep. It's a micro sleigh fest out here in Texas. Right? Wow, mine is, oh, big line twisty too. We get a high five. Ready, go, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, sorry little guy. Here she goes, back in the water. <laughs> Drag and drop on the drop, you know how we do. Got a little bit of current here, we're fishing this eddy. On the back side of all this current is an eddy. Well, it's an eddy, it's like slow moving water. Large mouth, they're not big current fish, so they like to hang out in the slack. They want a jig put directly into their mouth. We're gonna do that. We're gonna feed them the jig and we're gonna use the crack and curl. Here, give it a kiss. Give it a good little kiss. Oh, nothing, okay. You're no help. You are no help, toots. I really hate to say this, you guys, but uh, the day's winding down right now. We fished this whole cut probably three times. I think this is the fourth. The reason why that we've fished this cut and this cut only is because of this right here. This is a warm water discharge, if you want to call it that. It's just a discharge that's pumping warmer water into this whole bay, and it's got the water temp up to, I believe, what's it say back there, Bryce? Uh, 68. 68. So that's significantly warmer than the main lake. Uh, there's a lot of lakes in Texas that are heat discharge. This is just one of the many. Some can be really good, some can be really stinky, but this one prevailed. We caught a six, caught some nice twos. Jig seemed to be the main deal, but we did catch a handful on drop shot too. I'll show you guys. What are you doing? Do you need help? Just getting my workout in, dude. Leave me alone. You're broken. They were all fucking protos. They weren't quite finished, you know? Yeah. Yeah, some people can. Good one. That's the way to end the day right there. Jiggy bath. Jigs. Boom! There we go. Last fish of the day. Strange looking large one. They got a bunch of like weird colors on them. Like, look at that. What is that all about? Good day, good fish. This whole month has been about redemption, figuring out where these winter bass are. We got fortunate to fish in warm water today and it resulted. Let's go back to the ramp, get you guys there. As you can tell, we've made it back to the ramp safe and sound. Wow, does it feel good to get on a consistent bite. There we go. Good freaking day today, crushed them. But before I close things out today, I want to show you guys uh, what we were catching them on, how we kind of made it happen. Good freaking day today. Crushed them. Um, one of the deals that was working really well today was a drop shot. I was drop shotting this guy right here. Good old fashioned Guggen Baits drag and drop. It's like honestly like a, a wintertime essential, even though that water isn't necessarily as cold as the main lake. It was what, uh, you know, got a lot of bites today. Just nose hooking that. Did the trick. Very small worm, super subtle. Got him good. And then along with the drop shot, one of the other lures that really killed them was rigs right here were the main moves for today. They seem to be eating slower moving um, presentations. Not a whole lot on the lip list, not a whole lot on the, on the jerk bait, but it was these three that kind of formed today's pattern. First, let's talk about the jig. This is not the exact jig that Bryce caught his fish on, but it's a similar presentation. It's a 3 8 ounce um, with a Kraken curl on the back. This is the jig I was throwing. Caught a few pretty decent ones in the reeds. The thing is there's so much volume of water in those reeds. So these fish are back there starting to spawn because that water is like 68 degrees. Even though like, while well, the main lake is pretty much, I don't know, I want to say like 43 degrees, 44. It was just really cold. Perfect lure to throw in that situation is this guy right here. A lot of thumping action. It's not subtle at all. And it gets them really fired up. Nice heavy hook on there. Uh, pointed head. I love a good grass shig in the springtime. And also on the edges of the weeds, I was throwing a Nico rig slim shake, Dugan bait slim shake. Got an octopus hook rigged right in the middle and the bottom, a nail weight. So that bait is being worked just like this. The nose is maintaining bottom contact while the tail is straight up in the air. But yeah, finesse a little less finesse and then we've got super finesse. I didn't throw the drop shot that much, but Spencer a lot and he got a lot of numbers. And on the drop shot, we were rocking with the Drag and drop, which is like the little brother of the slim shake. I was using a natural in the drop shot and then also a natural on the Nico rig. I know a lot of you guys have been asking where to get Guggen baits. There's a lot of places to get them. I'll leave a link in the description below, like a total list of places where you can purchase Guggen baits online. That includes like the crack and crawl, the bandito bug, the whole freaking nine yards. Anyway, that's it. We're peacing out. Huge shout out to Bryce 
for taking us out here and showing us the ropes. Be sure to check him out as well. I'll also leave him the link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go out there, catch some fish, stay warm, and as always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.